We welcome you back to Mid Morning on WKYT. Atrial fibrillation, also called AFib, is a quivering or irregular heartbeat that at least 2.7 million Americans are living with. Joey Maggard and Dr. Youssef Durant join us this morning. Thank you both for being here. Good Thank you. Thank Good you. morning. So we were just talking about how you hear about this more and more often. Tell us what AFib is and why it's important. Yeah, so atrial fibrillation, or also known as AFib, is the most common heart rhythm disorder. So it's an abnormal heartbeat uh, that uh, it's, it can be a very serious condition that increases the chance of developing blood clots, uh, strokes, and and, uh, and heart failure. And so if it's left untreated, it can in increase the chances of uh, uh, heart-related death by uh, double, double mm. the chance of heart-related death, and it also increases the chance of uh, having a stroke by five times. Yeah. Wow. And yet, doctor, many people are unaware they have it. Uh, are there some symptoms to, to look for? Yes, so the, sim the most common symptom of AFib is uh, palpitation, which is basically a fluttering in the chest. Uh, but like I said, some patients may not feel it. Other symptoms are uh, dizziness or uh, shortness of breath with activity. When the patient walks, they can feel they're short-winded. Uh, but AFib can be, can be diagnosed on an EKG or uh, heart monitors. So it's not very hard to determine that you have it. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It can be easy to pick it up. And the American Heart Association is doing a lot of work to combat this. Tell us we about are. that. We, we have a lot of research. Obviously, this is a, a very, very important topic to us. And, and yet another one of those things that, that we bring to you month after month that's lifestyle related. You know, if, if folks are, are not smoking, if they're watching their weight, if they're... Uh, uh, looking at their blood pressure and, and cholesterol kind of issues, the likelihood of this occurring is lessened, not necessarily eliminated, and that's why we're very fortunate to have folks like Doc here. And, and the, uh, Joy, the American Heart Association has some online communities where yeah. people can kind of share what's going on with New them, one right? that just came out, myafibexperience.org, O-R-G, is a, a new online support system from AHA that really uh, provides a, a, a channel for folks who are experiencing this to share their story with others. It's also a good window for, for medical professionals to, to get the latest and greatest from our organization as well. Probably no greater resource than hearing from people going through the same thing that you are. Exactly, exactly. Very, very important stuff, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, doctor, uh, as uh, people go forward, I mean, if they have, believe they might have uh, these symptoms uh, going on, should they have one of those simple checks? Oh, yes. Uh, the patient can uh, get an EKG, which is a simple uh, test to have um, uh, electrodes and hooked up on the chest and uh, or a heart monitor because AFib can come and go. So if they're not an AFib at, at one po moment in time, AFib is in a, a, a recurrent rhythm. So yeah. um, and uh, uh, and like I said, it increases the chance of stroke. So it's really really important important to pick up uh, atrial fibrillation and to treat it uh, appropriately. We appreciate you coming in, drawing our attention to it. Thank, Thank you. you. And if folks can get more information at the Heart Association website. There we go. Thanks for being here. All right. Thank you. Thank you.